Hi, my name is Blair. I'm a website designer specializing in the Show It platform, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to add a testimonial section to your website and add a scrolling testimonial section as well. So stay tuned. You guys, how to add a testimonial canvas to your Show It website. It is super easy, so once you are in Show It, go ahead and click on the page you want to do. I'm working on my home page here and click on page and at the top to just start if you don't have a canvas there already you'll click on these three dots and hit add blank canvas so to speed this video up I've already added a few different canvases here I've added three different ones that we're going to talk about so this first one is this super simple just one testimonial um, go ahead and drop in your testimonial style it any way you like I think it's fun when you have just one to go really big and do something kind of interesting that's going to attract people's attention um, once you have it all styled exactly how you want, make sure it's aligned. This is a huge pet peeve of mine as a designer, is when people don't have things aligned properly. So all you have to do is grab both items, click here to align the group, and then align it to the canvas. And you can see how that moved to the center there. When you are all done, you can come down here. This is this new canvas one. You can just click and drop it wherever you want it on your site. So if you want to have a section that has multiple um, testimonials in it, a great way to do it is to start with just one, create one and style it exactly how you like. I find that this way when you copy and paste it, it just makes the whole process a lot smoother and cleaner. Um, so we're going to eventually have three here. Before you go ahead and copy this, make sure that you've styled it for mobile as well. Um, <clears throat> because once you have it styled for mobile and you copy and paste it, it's going to look the same in mobile. So I'm not going to do that for just for this video, but just know that you need to go ahead and edit this first one before you copy and paste it. So once you have it all done in mobile as well, I'm just going to go copy and paste and it put another, it's right on top of there. So I'm just going to click this align to canvas You can see it's there. I'm going to copy and paste again and then move this over. And to make sure that everything is aligned, I will grab all of these as well as these. So that one in the middle is already aligned to the center and now those are aligned. So you can obviously switch these out, change the text, um, but those are now gonna be all perfectly centered. Lastly, we have this scrolling one. This one is a little bit more complicated, but I'm gonna walk you through it to make it really simple for you. So just like the one above, you wanna copy this and make sure that you go ahead and style it for mobile as well. So here I've done that because we're gonna be copying, pasting this on different views, canvas views. And if you don't have it styled, you're gonna to have to style each one individually and they are not gonna look as tidy and clean. So um, make sure that it's styled how you want. On mobile, I like to have the arrows either like above or below the, versus off to the side. It just, um, I think looks a little bit cleaner and is a little bit more um, functional for the user. So what we're gonna do here is come over to, we're on this new canvas here, canvas three, click on the three little buttons and then hit add canvas view. So we have this view one, and then we're gonna highlight these two items and drag them into view one. So we're gonna leave the icons out because we want these to be present on every single view that we have, every single testimonial page. <clears throat> so now that on view one, you can come over here and hit duplicate and uh, We'll just duplicate it once. So um, click on view two and then we'll say this is a different just so we can tell the difference. Okay, so now that you have these two, um, by default this one is going to show. And what we want to do is add a click action to each of these arrows. So click on this one, come over here and click action. We're going to say canvas, this canvas and then we're gonna hit uh, next. And then I like to uncheck this scroll to canvas. It just kind of makes this entire thing go to the top and I don't really like the functionality. Um, you can leave it on and kind of test and see what you like better though. And over here, we'll do the same thing. Canvas, this canvas, and we will hit previous. And again, I'm going to uncheck that. So right now, if I was to publish this here, we'll do preview. Just a sec. We're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom of this page. Okay, so right now it's sitting here, and when we click on these, it just scrolls back and forth. So let's say that you want these to scroll through automatically. So what you will do is come over here, and um, this is kind of the funny part here. So here we go, under View Transitions. So we're still on that same canvas. We're going to click this Auto Advanced View, and it's going to go ahead and 
move every three seconds. You can also set these separately for mobile. So for mobile, if you also want it to go, or if you want this to actually be like four seconds, um, you know, whatever you want, you can change it. So we will go ahead and preview that so you can see the difference and decide what you like better. The one thing here is if you are featuring testimonials that are really, really long, I think that it's going to be better for you to just have the arrows. Otherwise, people aren't going to be able to read them fast enough. Um, but if they're short like this, you can see that you can get through it. I think actually three seconds is probably a little too short. Um, but that's how you do it. So there you go. I hope you found that super helpful. If you want more tips and tricks, go ahead and follow my blog at BlairStakey.com and let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. Thanks.